Hey everyone, I'm here to announce some big changes in my life, uh, for the better, I hope. Uh, something you might not know about me, if you aren't a patron who's getting a little more of the inside track, is that I actually have still been working a day job this whole time. Uh, for about four years, I've been making YouTube videos in my spare time after work and on weekends, and it's been miserable. I mean, I'm working 40 hours plus on call, I'm supporting a whole household, I take care of groceries and errands and house repairs and all sorts of other things, and that's all fine, but trying to cram a whole second job into what's left on top of that isn't. Uh, there's just really no time for it. So I've been burning the candle at both ends this whole time, working until two or four in the morning to get my scripts written and my videos edited, and I just can't do it anymore. And, uh, you know, I hate my day job. I, I hate it so much that uh, I don't even want to talk about what it is. It's just unbelievably boring. It's enough to say, it's a computer job, and I have no interest in anything I do there. And I realized a few weeks ago that it was killing me. Like, no joke. It was sapping my will to live. I had no upward mobility, being egregiously underpaid, and all of my efforts were being wasted by management. And the frustration and stress from all of that was making it much harder to do what I really wanted, to make videos. This YouTube gig, if you want to call it that, this is my dream job. <laughs> You know, I report to me. I have no set hours, I get to be creative, I get to be appreciated, and nobody yells at me unless I really do genuinely screw up, which I've gotten a lot better about, although I still do it. A uh, person whose name I forgot, who called me out on the Windows Vista starter thing in the last video, thank you. That was a silly flub on my part, and I feel really embarrassed about it. You see how polite that exchange was? Those are the kind of interactions I have at this job. It's just people who respect me for the most part, even if they're total strangers. They wander in, they go, who's this guy? And then a few minutes later, they're having civil conversations with each other in the comments and telling me when I do something good instead of just when I screw up. <laughs> I mean, hell, if that was what my day job was, I might not hate showing up to it every morning. I get way more out of YouTube, both socially and practically. I make connections with people, those make me feel like I'm worthwhile, and those people in turn end up helping me get a lot of the things that I show off on here. It's a funny chicken and egg thing. If I wasn't running this channel, I couldn't get all the stuff I need to run this channel, but I do, so I do. I put a call out in a previous video for a Sony Vio P notebook. Those are like several hundred dollars on eBay, not remotely worth buying. Five people offered to send one. I had to turn most of them down. As a collector, let alone a presenter, having such an enormous reach to people who have things is incredible. Uh, and the fact that people just keep sending me stuff without asking me anything in return, it, it's incredible. I feel like I don't deserve it. I'm so grateful to everyone who donates stuff, but I ask if I can give people shout outs and they decline. I, I don't get it, okay? So in short, this job is much easier on my psyche. It's more productive and it's actually more profitable. My day job was, uh, to put it mildly, underpaying me for my position. Uh, to be transparent, I was making about 70 grand a year in an IT position, which, yes, is a lot in many places, but not when you're supporting three other people in Seattle. And the thing is, I've been making more than that off of Patreon for months. But I've been carefully cordoning off that income and trying to put it back into the channel. See, I'd hope to keep doing that indefinitely so I could, you know, support myself through most of my life off my day job and then just keep putting all of the excess funds from Patreon into the, the videos so they would just get better and better. But that's becoming unsustainable. For one thing, I've reached a point where I don't think I really need to spend that much on the channel anymore. I've been somehow spending all my business income every month, but for the last like half year or so, I'm not really sure what I have to show for it. I've got cameras, I've got lights, I've got hard drives and editing gear and a studio packed with material for videos. And I've been buying new stuff, but it's just going on the pile waiting for some unknown someday. So I think I have enough subject matter for videos for quite a while. I don't need to spend thousands of dollars a month on the channel anymore, I don't think. And the second problem is that all the extra money from two jobs doesn't help if you're not around to use it, to uh, sugarcoat it a little. I've been doing really bad. I've been barely able to get up in the morning for as long as I can remember. And I kept telling myself that, you know, keeping the day job was giving me lots of uh, financial freedom to do whatever I wanted with the channel because I had this whole supply of extra money I could just spend on this. Well, I realized recently that for the last few months, at least, I've barely had the energy to do more than show up in the studio, turn on the cameras, talk for three hours, and then go home. I'm not spending any of the money to make my videos better because I'm just barely making them to begin with. 
And once I get home, I just wanna go to sleep. So that's what I do. And then I get up and work beats the hell out of me all day. And by the time the whistle blows, I don't want to go back to work again. I don't even wanna look at a video. So editing has been taking weeks because I just can't bring myself to, to want to do it. And that's why I keep having months where I only release like one video. I'm just so tired and sad all the time that I, I just can't manage anymore. This isn't serving me and it's not serving you. My videos could be better. I know some people don't think so. They think I'm doing great, but I know they could be better. Nobody's really getting what they want here. And it's just time for this situation to change. So I quit my day job. It's still kind of unbelievable to me. I, I honestly never imagined that full-time YouTuber was ever gonna be how I made my living. That was not on the table when I uploaded my first video where I pointed my phone at a piece of styrofoam packing material and dropped a little Japanese computer on top of it and just tried to figure out what to say about it. And it wasn't on my mind when I made my first scripted video about transmitting NES video signals over RF or when I scooped all of YouTube pretty much with a video about the Indextron CRT. And it wasn't even on my mind when I was looking at Craigslist one day, saw some studio space for rent and found myself seriously considering actually renting it. I still intended to continue working a normal job even as I committed to a year lease on a piece of commercial property. And I was still thinking that way when I re-signed that lease a few months ago. Up until pretty much now, I just thought the YouTube thing would end at any moment. And I would go back to my miserable desk job where I've been for 12 years and just keep waiting for the end to come. I mean, I'm really a dumbass, aren't I? <laughs> Between a job that hasn't given me a meaningful raise in years and doesn't care how hard I work and hundreds of thousands of people who seem to enjoy listening to me talk no matter what I talk about, it, this shouldn't have been a tough decision, okay? I'm sorry I'm so dense. It's obvious you all think I'm worth your time because over a thousand of you have pledged to support me on Patreon at this point for over two years. It's well past time for me to take the hint. You wanna see me do this, so who am I to argue? This is what I do now. So what's that mean? What changes will come? Hopefully, nothing. I'm not gonna promise any changes at all. Promises are what kill freelancers, if you ask me. Kickstarters and Patreons fail all the time because people make promises they can't deliver. That's the nature of being an individual. Big businesses can replace one worker who isn't quite keeping up the pace with another. So as a consumer, you see no changes, but in reality, humans are fickle and unreliable. Go watch Linus Tech Tips' uh, behind the scenes videos and tell me, if they didn't have 50 plus people on staff, would they be making regular releases? Hell no. I mean, some people can manage it, but in my experience, especially with me personally, promising any kind of regular output is just asking for failure. And uh, I've been getting away with promising nothing for years, and that's a formula that works. Nobody seems to mind that I don't upload one video per week, God forbid, too. Nobody really seems to mind when I don't upload a video for a month, for that matter, so I'm not committing to change my release schedule or anything like that. Everything has been and will be done when it's done, not a minute sooner. I'm also not gonna make any new promises to patrons. I've only ever made one of those, and the people signed up at that tier know I've been failing to deliver on it for months. Well, I'll at least get that together. Not that any of you really care about my cat pictures, I'm sure, but for what it's worth, I haven't been sending them only because I've been in a coma for half a year. I should be able to manage it that much from now on. I also don't particularly intend to change my subject matter or how I produce my videos because, again, nobody seems to want any changes. You all seem happy with what I've been doing. I'm not going to screw that up by trying to, like, somehow go big time. I'm not going to start overproducing my videos or whatever. But there are some things that I've always wanted to do and I've never really been able to do right. Uh, for instance, location shoots. There are a number of my videos where I felt they would have been a lot better if I'd left the studio and gone out somewhere and uh, taken the time to shoot some, some field footage. But of course, that's hard. Any director knows that that's harder than, than working in the studio. So what usually happens is uh, I find the like two hours out of a week that I can get away to go do that sort of thing and uh, doesn't matter if the lighting is right, you know, or the weather is right or anything. I just got to go then. Uh, I shoot my footage. I get home. I look at it. It's crap. It's no good. And my choices are to either throw it away uh, and then I can't go reshoot it. I just have to not have that in the video or fight to turn it into something usable. And frankly, you've probably noticed when I've done that and it didn't work very well. I couldn't go out and reshoot those things like I wanted because I would have had to wait a whole week to have another you know, moment of free time in my day. So hopefully in the future when I think, wow, a location shoot would really improve this video, I'll be able to go out, take my time, do it right at the right time of day, and if I screw it up, 
I'll just go back out the next day. But I still don't intend to do that in every video or anything, and honestly, I might not change much at all. The best I can really offer is that with my stress levels tremendously reduced, they already are, believe me, I will probably happen to make more videos and release them more frequently with better researched and refined scripts. That's all I really want to change. And you know, at times when my stress level has been low, I've managed all that and I really liked it. It was fun to work that way, to take my time and still be able to get stuff out on a regular schedule was fun. So no promises, but hopefully you'll be seeing more of me. Now, with my financial situation changing, I would like to uh, make a couple statements. First, I wanna reiterate my disdain for sponsorships. I don't need to go into a 20 minute diatribe on this, but I don't like sponsored videos. I understand why people do it. I don't judge you for it at all. And I acknowledge that the only reason I'm not forced to do it is because I have a disproportionate number of patrons and a day job that floated me until I made it to the point where I could afford to live on those patrons. Most people, don't have that option. Sponsorships are just part of this job. They're part of what YouTube is. I'm not special. I've just been lucky. I've been able to avoid it. If the worst happens though, if half my patrons cancel or my expenses suddenly skyrocket or something, that may change. Now, if it comes down to either hawking gross alternative cereals and health magnets, you know, things I would never actually buy versus giving up on all this and going back to a day job, I'm gonna call this a nice run and go put in some applications. I'm not doing that crap. But if I got an offer from like a PCB manufacturer or something, you know, someone who makes a real product that's provably legit and a really hard up for cash, you might see it happen. If you wanna make sure that that never happens, well, the Patreon link is down there in the description. But I'm not asking you to go sign up for that right away unless you're sure you want to. Uh, I'd love to see those numbers skyrocket, I won't lie, but what I don't want is a ton of people signing up for only a month or two and then bailing, if I'm honest. I'd much rather have long-term support that I can more or less rely on than a brief burst of income that's gonna evaporate. I mean, would you wanna get a raise at work if you knew it might evaporate at any moment? No, you wanna know what next month looks like. You wanna be able to bank on it. I'm no different. More importantly, I don't wanna take anyone's money if you're in dire financial straits yourself. I'm a goddamn YouTuber. I have tech job experience. If I fall, I'm gonna bounce, okay? So if you're on a fixed income or something, and believe me, I've got a bunch of patrons that say they're on a fixed income, please take care of yourself first uh, before you worry about me. Even at this newly reduced income level, I'm gonna be comfortable for some time. Now, long-term, well, Almost everything that I'm making is gonna be from Patreon now, so that's gonna be supporting my daily life. I won't have much to spend on new material for the channel, hardware upgrades, that sort of thing, and that won't be a problem for now, but eventually it will be. Uh, I'd like a third angle camera, for instance. That would be fantastic if I could afford one of those. And eventually I'm gonna run out of things to show off and I'll need to buy new things. So yeah, if you've got the cash to spare, I'll put it to use. There's just no rush. Do it when you're ready. I should also mention, uh, I'm tentatively selling some merch now. You should see links under some videos, probably this one if YouTube is behaving, uh, to a couple of t-shirt designs. Uh, I eventually hope to get more stuff in there, but it's really just because people kept asking where they could buy those. If you don't really want a t-shirt, you just wanna donate to me, there's a coffee link under every video. I'd much rather you do that, especially since every penny goes to me instead of two thirds of it into a shirt that you might not ever wear. So with all that said, I think there's just one question that's been burning in all your minds this whole time. Is this Cathode Ray Dude season four? Nope, season three is forever.